In the previous two videos, we learned how to create an API route that can handle both GET and POST requests. The next step is to understand how to handle a DELETE request. A DELETE request though is slightly different in the sense that you need to specify the ID of the comment you're deleting. So slash API slash comments will handle both GET and POST requests. However, for a delete request, our API endpoint will be slash API slash comments slash comment ID, where comment ID is a dynamic segment. It can be one, two, three, or any valid comment ID from our comments array. So in this video, let's see how to create a dynamic API route which will return a single comment based on the comment ID. We will then use our learnings from this video to handle a delete request from the user interface in the next video. All right, so we need to create an API route that handles slash API slash comments slash comment ID. Let me tell you that dynamic API routes work similar to dynamic page routes. For slash API slash comments, we need the file inside the comments folder. For the comment ID dynamic segment, we specify the same within square brackets. So within the comments folder, within API folder, create a new file within square brackets, comment ID, and the extension is .js. Within the file, we define a handler function. So export default function handler. This function receives request and response as parameters. What the handler has to do is return a single comment from the comments array whose ID is equal to the comment ID passed in the URL. So at the top, Let's import the comments array. Copy and paste it. Then in the function body, we find the comment whose ID matches the passed in comment. But how do we get hold of the ID from the request? Well, this is where the request object comes into play. From request.query, we can extract the comment ID const comment id destructure it from request.query. We specify comment id because that is our dynamic segment in the file name. Once we have the comment id, we find the comment from our array. So const comment is equal to comments.find. Find the comment whose id, so comment.id is equal to parse int comment id from the url. We need to parse int since this value is a string. Finally, we return that as the JSON response. So rest.status of 200 dot JSON and we send back the comment. Let's now save the file and head to the browser. Navigate to slash API slash comments slash one and we get back just the first comment. Slash two, we get back the second comment. Similarly, slash three, and we get back the third comment. So based on the comment ID we pass in the URL, we get back the appropriate data. Of course, we just have three comments to work with here, but in a practical application, you're probably going to have thousands of rows in your database. The logic to fetch the individual record remains the same. All right, now that we have a good understanding of how to create dynamic routes, in the next video, let's see how to handle a delete request to delete an individual comment from the comments page in the browser. Please leave a like if you're enjoying the videos and I'll see you in the next one.